Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to take a look at the Kyocera Hydro Elite. Now I don't normally test phones from kind of new brands, but this one's a little bit interesting. It's supposed to be waterproof and dustproof. So we're going to test how waterproof it really is. Let's open it up. We'll take a look at the specs, what comes in the box, see how waterproof it is, and then go over the operating system a little bit. Now this is the phone itself. We'll set this aside for a moment and take a look what comes in the box. We've got your normal documentation, get to know your phone, warranty information. And then underneath here, we have a micro USB, just your typical USB to micro USB you can see there. I'm not going to open that up. And then you have an AC wall adapter to USB. That's all you get with the phone, but it is free. Let's set that aside and go over the phone itself. Now you can see the phone isn't huge. We'll take this off here. The phone isn't very big, but it does run Android 4.1. It has a 4.3 inch 720p screen with a pixel density of 342 pixels per inch. It's also got an 8 megapixel camera on the back with LED flash and a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. It actually has pretty good specs considering that it's free. It's a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 processor with one and a half gigs of RAM, which is interesting, and 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and then a micro SD slot up to 32 gigabytes. Let's open the back up here, and you can see that we have a battery, obviously. It's a 2,000 milliamp hour battery that comes in at about 13 hours talk time, nine and a half days of standby, and seems to last pretty well. It's not a huge screen. It's a 4.3 inch screen, like I said, and it feels really good. It's about the size of an iPhone, something like that, and it fits nicely in the hand. The back is kind of this textured feel. I get the feeling that this is more of an industrial style phone. You can see here's your SIM card slot, SD slot, and let's take a look at the features around the phone. Before I put this back on, I said it was waterproof. It's supposed to be, and you can see this is a seal all the way around here, and it seals with this little ridge here and this also has wireless charging built in so you can see there's the phone there's the speaker we've got a microphone on the top we have our power sleep wake button 3.5 millimeter headphone jack we have our volume button up and down on the bottom we've got another microphone on this side we have the micro usb charge sync port and then on the front like i said before we have our camera so Instead of just turning it on here, let's do something a little unique. Let's turn it on underwater and see how well that works out. The phone is designed to be submerged for 30 minutes at three and a half feet. So let's submerge it and power it on. Now it wants to drop to the bottom, so you can see that it's fully submerged in water, seems to be doing just fine, and I don't know how long you could really keep it underwater. Obviously you wouldn't want to go diving with it or anything like that, you would ruin it. You won't be able to use the touch screen, but I thought this would be an interesting test just to see what this phone is capable of since it's waterproof. You can see it's booted up. And we can't use the screen. Let's pull it out of the water here. Unlock. See, we can use the phone just fine. Let's put it back underwater. We can use the volume buttons. We can use the power sleep wake button. Any, any physical button will work just fine. And that's pretty much it. You really can't use it in the water, but I thought it'd be a neat test to see what it's like. You can see it's holding up well. Take it out of the water. It, it seems to be fine, and the only thing exposed really is this headphone jack here. You can see it's out of the water. It has a little bit of residue on it. Let's check underneath. You can see it's wet right here, but the seal kept all the water out of the key components, so that's really good. I'll dry it off. I'll put the back back on, and overall it, it seems to function pretty well. Now, if I turn it on, it's a little bit sluggish with their interface that they've put over the top of Android and I don't know 
why they really bothered because for the most part it's stock android with a couple changes they're light blue color and it just probably makes it a little more sluggish than it would be without their interface for the most part it's simple just like stock android but they have little changes here and there as you can see this this notification menu is slightly different and some of the widgets are a little different it has an eco mode for battery the settings icon is different but for the most part it's stock android the camera is okay it has a pink hue underneath it for whatever reason in the center and you can see i took this photo and it's got this pinkish hue right in the middle and for whatever reason it's just not fantastic but it is a simple 8 megapixel camera it does have the forward facing camera as well and for the most part using android on this phone is going to be okay for most people it's not super fast it doesn't load anything crazy fast but it is functional and does work okay now as far as web browsing goes let me go to Zolotech here you can see they've put their own can their own keyboard on it we'll go to Zolotech we'll just search for it we'll go to the site and you can see it took a second there to respond now I am on Wi-Fi right now uh, Wi-Fi is pretty quick but you can see it's a little bit sluggish to begin with and that probably could be improved with some updates but it will work for most people that want a free phone that's waterproof and does that job well overall it's an okay phone but for free it's it's a pretty decent phone is compared to a year ago it's actually a very fast phone so it just depends on your perspective design wise uh, you may or may not like it, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you used this phone? Have you actually considered it? Or maybe you have a better alternative. Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.